Welcome to HP Calcs. I'm Rick and today we're going to have a look at how to do combinations and permutations on the Casio FX991 MS calculator. To do this we'll be using the shift key, looks like this, located here in the top left, the division key, which has a shift function of combination, looks like this, located here, and the multiplication key, which has a shift function of permutation, looks like this, located here. To start off, if we want to find combinations, which are when you choose a certain number of objects from a larger set and the order does not matter, we use the shift function of the division. So, for example, if we want to choose four objects from ten for a combination, we start by entering the ten and then press shift division so that we see a C there and then four. So we have 10 choose 4 and press equals and we see we get a result of 210. So we have 210 possible combinations there. Again, if we want to choose 3 from a set of 100, we enter the 100 first and then press shift divide so that we see the C and 3 equals and we see we have 161,700 possible combinations there. If we want to do permutations in which the order that the objects are selected does matter, we use the shift function of the multiplication key. So if we want to see how many permutations there are of choosing four objects from a set of 10, we enter the 10 and then shift multiply so that we see a P there this time enter the 4 and press equals and we see there are 5,040 possible permutations choosing 4 from a set of 10. And again, if we want to see how many permutations are possible when choosing 3 from a set of 100, we start by entering the 100 and then shift multiply 3 and press equals and we see there are 970,200 possible permutations. Alright, I hope this helps and good luck on those tests out there everybody.